Tonight we have goats on boss battle. Welcome everybody to Boss Battle number 79, a show in which the writers of Insert Coin to Begin get together and talk about video games. I'm your host, Bobby F. J. Tom, and joining us as usual, as usual, it's Sorg. Sorg, what did you achieve in gaming this week? I achieved so much, Bobby, including playing I heard. so much Arkham City, I had nightmares about it. You played games. I played like five hours of Arkham City. I'm like halfway through the game, I think. Um, um, I, I played some Back to the Future of the game. I played some Half-Life 2. I dusted that one off because I'm wow. like two levels from the end. Um, and never played the episodes, so I want to get to those. Um, it was such a... I'm addicted to this game 3s. To get off my Flappy Birds hatred on my phone, <laughs> I recommend 3s. It's, it's really addictive. It's 2 bucks right now, which is like two-thirds off. Uh, go check out all that stuff. Cool. We're, we're very proud that you play video games. <laughs> so am I. Chachi, what did you achieve this week in gaming? Uh, I'm about, uh, I don't know, three minutes away from beating Ghost again. Um, played some hockey. Uh, my dog made it on Google Street View, <laughs> um, which I treat as a video game. So, it's, yeah, it's, it's like an achievement. Week. It's like you an can achievement. drive around and I can see it's a video game. Well, I go on to see if they've updated the uh, the view of my neighborhood. <laughs> We're too primitive here in Johnstown to have street view. So, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Riz, what did you achieve in gaming this week? Uh, I downloaded Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Mm hmm. Classic. And uh, I realized something. I suck at it. <laughs> I, I, I knew this going into it when I played Nintendo 64 version, and now I'm relearning that theory now. I am <laughs> horrible at Tony Hawk. Uh -huh. And also, tomorrow, do not bug me, for I am going into the world of tanks on Xbox Live. <laughs> awesome. I like how nobody just decided not to talk after that one. Uh, for those of you who don't know, World of Tanks is coming on Xbox Live tomorrow. So I'm going to enjoy it thoroughly. Well, let me know how that is. I I'm curious because I, I was excited by your excitement of this game. It it's Call of Duty with tanks. <laughs> that doesn't sound right at all. It sounds better. Isn't that no, Battlefield? No, I, I mean, that... That, that description of it just doesn't sound accurate in any way, shape, or form. It, it probably isn't. I have no idea. <laughs> All right, as long as we're on the same page, then. <laughs> I'm just yeah. really excited for this game. Cool. Sounds like fun. I might Bobby. check it out. I don't know. Bobby. Well, before I get to what I played, we're going to go to the chat room and see what they played. Um, Brother Sorg played Starbound. Uh, he's It's in uh, early access beta on Steam. Uh, he played through some Duke Nukem 3D and just got through the end of Dragon's Lair for the first time. Uh, Mad Mike played uh, DC Scribblenauts, and it kind of sucks. Um, and he missed playing hoverboard mode on Tony Hawk. And I achieved in gaming this week. I went back and played a game that I haven't played for four years. Uh, I went back uh, to try to finish Final Fantasy XIII. Uh, the learning curve is very steep. When you haven't played a game like that for after four years... Um, but I got the hang of it again, and I'm six chapters away from finishing the game, so hopefully I can finish that soon. Uh, so I can start Final Fantasy 13 2 and then finish that one, and then start Final Fantasy Lightning Returns. So, that'll be fun. Awesome. Alright, and uh, we're going to move on to our next segment, which is Chachi Around the Net. Net. Weird video game things from around the internet. Net, 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 net. Um, so this week, it was kind of a slow week as far as weird video game things. Um, but I, I did uh, find a few things that made me laugh or say what the fuck. Um, I, first off, the honorable mentions this week. Um, the first one is a web series called LARPs. Which is exactly what it sounds. It's a comedy series in which people are live-action role-playing. Uh, complete with small. Dungeon Master. Um, the article I saw it from said that... Uh, 
I used to LARP before I got shot in the air in the nuts with an arrow. <laughs> which is why I, I looked. I, I decided to watch it. Um, but yeah, you can go to insert coin. Du- in, uh, insert coin to begin dot com and the videos there so you can watch it. It's a uh, season one episode zero. Um, the first actual episode is in March. Cool. Um, all right. So this week, apparently, uh, gamers took to petitions dot whitehouse dot gov. Of course they did. Um. That's the new, the, the hot new thing to do when you're mad about yeah. something. Um, no, they're not even mad. Oh, they're just, like, well, to get something done, I guess. Yeah, they uh, they decided that they wanted a new national anthem, <laughs> um, which is against the law. Uh, you you can't petition the government. It's against the uh, the terms of service. First off. Uh, of the p- w- petition website, uh, you can't petition to change something like that, or um, change wrestling. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> but uh, they wanted to replace the national anthem with Guile's theme. Nice. Why not? Um, but uh, and a- another thing about it is, if uh, it's a user curated site to some point. So if enough people uh, flag it like as inappropriate, it'll be removed. Um, so unfortunately, I wasn't able to get a screenshot of the petition um, or see how many uh, signatures it actually managed to get because it's gone now. Um, but I did put up a uh, dubstep version of Guile's theme for Sweet. you to enjoy. Um, next up, uh, CCP Games, um, they created EVE Online, which is a, a space... MMO. Mm-hmm. Where, I yeah, never actually go, played that. I, I played it for a week. It was boring. I didn't like it. I stopped playing it. Um, but it, you build spaceships and uh, fight people and complete missions, just like any MMO. However, it's been on. It's been up for a decade now. And uh, recently, they were invited to be part of New York Museum of History's uh, video game exhibit so they decided that in order to celebrate this March 1st of this year they will be unveiling a monument a real life monument dedicated to the game and the players of the game what and you can actually see a picture of it on uh, insert coin to begin dot com. Um, it's a crazy like they got a real artist to design this monument. Um, it's on a uh, meter high base, and the base will have a uh, it will have all of the players that are still active name etched into it, as well as longtime players who have since passed away. Hmm. Um, and the cool thing about it is there's a uh, they'll have a web based application that'll help you find the names and they're putting in a digital time capsule under the monument which is basically a laptop with a bunch of uh, uh, current files and uh, things of that nature I wonder if Flappy Bird's going to be in that time capsule I don't know um <laughs> Um, no, I'm sorry. It's uh, the monument is coming April 30th. Uh, the name's current uh, as of March 1st, um, but it's going to be in Iceland, in Reykjavik. <laughs> so if you want to go travel and see a video game monument in real life, um, yeah, go to Iceland, where Sweet. it's not really cold. I just want to point that out. Yeah, uh, Greenland's actually cold. Yeah. If you don't know anything about geography, Iceland is actually rather nice. Yeah. And, but um, they were the hockey team in the Mighty Ducks. I know, or, doesn't make sense. Second Mighty but Ducks. <laughs> last but not least, um, uh, chances are over the past two weeks you've been frustrated by a, a, a game, um, a really simple game that's just pissed a lot of people off and has since been pulled from both marketplaces. Um uh, Flappy Birds, obviously, if you couldn't figure it out. Um, I found an alternative for you to play. It's a web-based game. Uh, 
pretty much the same the same graphics, only it's called Squishy Bird. You go to squishybird.com, you hit begin, you press the space bar, you start squishing those little bastards as they fly through the pipes. But Flappy Bird, no! Uh, my high score is uh, 4,578, and that's just because I got bored. <laughs> a lot higher than 39. <laughs> yes, it is a lot higher than 39. Um, so yeah, uh, it's over at uh, squishybirds.com. Um, all of this you can get in over at insertcoinbegin.com in my weekly uh, video game themed things from around the internet. All right, awesome. Uh, we're gonna move on to our things you should be made aware of. And speaking of Flappy Bird, uh, all the sadness that everybody is feeling, or or happiness, depending on if you like the game or not. Um, for for uh, Dong Nguyen or Win for taking the game down. Um, uh, there's there's a couple clones that have have, have uh, surfaced. I mean, there's a lot of clones because this game pretty much is easy to replicate, I guess. Um, there is one with Daniel Bryan from the WWE. Um, it, it, I I have a high score right now of four. <laughs> it's a lot harder than than Flappy Bird was. Um, I think. Um, plus, plus, it's a, a browser game, so it's it's kind of like it's difficult to maneuver. But uh, instead of dinging when when you pass a pipe, he, Daniel Bryan goes yes, and when he crashes, he says no. So that's pretty cool to check out. Um, where is it located here? It, it uh, the website is Bradley SGFX dot US slash Flappy Bryan. I did, so, I did Bobby just uh, I just tweeted it out from the Mayhem Show account because okay. I, I figured that was appropriate. But yeah, yeah, um, and it's amazing. There's also a Flappy Dog. Um, that's a, a, a with uh, everybody's Flappy favorite internet dog, right now, so. Dog. Um, you can check that one out too. Uh, I don't know where no, that one's. Riz has got it over here. Uh, no, just, Riz has just, it. Just look it up. And the amazing part, I I, I mentioned this uh, before. Um, I got to play this. A tiny bit on my Google Glass. It actually loaded on my Google Glass because I saw Riz's tweet. Um, it just the way you click ah, on a browser, it, it just doesn't work out. Like I, I could I could make them like jump once, yeah. and then like it crashes before I can get to it again. It, it, it's a lot more difficult in browsers than it is. Yeah, yeah. Well, like but, a, you know, especially especially that interface. But but it's kind of fun. So so you're not gonna miss your Flappy Birds gameplay, really. No. No. And, and if you still have an iron phone, you still have it. Exactly. It's not like. You don't have. It. Oh, and even like I deleted our list. We could, we, I did this on Awesome Cast earlier. Uh, you can still re-download it in your purchase on on the iPhone at least if uh, if you uh, had it. So. Oh, if you have an Android phone, I'm gonna post the APK on InsertCoinToBegin.com. Um, cool. so you can download it there for Android. Nice. If you need it, if you deleted it before and went back, or whatever, out of frustration. <laughs> I see the way for the show. Uh oh, <laughs> hand. All right, uh, we're gonna move on to our next story, uh, which is about goats. Uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of the the. Uh, I know you mentioned it earlier, Riz. Um, the goat simulator. It's coming to Steam. Yes. <laughs> They're releasing the game for Steam. Um, coffee stains. Coffee Stain Studios is what the uh, developers called. Um, the game features a goat. Uh, you are a goat. You you can run around and attack people, and just cause havoc. Um, you can lick an lick an axe with your tongue and carry it around. Uh, that's all we really know about the game. <laughs> you can climb. You can climb a ladder. Yeah, you can climb ladders and you can jump jump on trampolines and stuff like that. So it looks like a pretty fun game. Uh, there's a trailer on IGN. Man. And, and YouTube, um, it, it became a big thing on YouTube. So um, I think it's going the the pre-order um, for beta access costs ten dollars. So if you want, always had a lifelong dream of being a goat, you can for ten dollars. Our live studio audience wants to know if uh, they scream like humans. I don't know. <laughs> I I hope so. If that was a feature I, on the I, game, that would sell it for me. I want to know if they poop. Go poop. They can do everything else, but no. Yeah. Can can the goat eat tin cans? That's another thing I'd like to know. 
And I hear a dog. All right. Uh, so we're going to move on to our n next story, which is about Call of Duty, coincidentally. Um, not about goats. <laughs> um, Activision um, announced that they're adding a third developer to the Call of Duty franchise. Uh, Sledgehammer Games, who helped out with uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 when uh, Infinity Ward split. Um, and the, the, the heads of Inf Infinity Ward created their own studio called Respawn, which is making... Um, Titanfall on the Xbox. Um, what do you guys think? Um, is this is this a good move for Call of Duty games? I, I think it is. I, th I, think, I think it's going to save the franchise. I, I, I don't want to pay $180 for Call of Duty games all years. Well, yeah, but you would pay that anyways going back and forth between two studios. Now it's going to be three. No, so. I would pay 120 and get two games. No, it, and... it's still one a year, isn't it? It's still going to be one a year. Yeah, they just, it's, it's, oh, okay. they're just gonna, they're just adding another pl publisher, and they're still going to release one a year, but yeah. it'll give the other two more time to develop uh, their so, game yeah, better. So in the long run, they're not they're not scrunching the development in two years, and we get yeah. less of a game that maybe isn't play bounds like I we're seeing with these confused. recent maps. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be better. Because I'd be too confused because of the continuity between the games, and you're having another aspect to that going. Oh, we have to wait four more years for another game, or three more years, or whatever. Because this time it's their turn to play. Yeah. It's like it's like having the kid play with your toy, because it's their turn to play with the toy. I wonder though. I, I wonder if at that length, if they'll say, okay, uh, Ghost Two is actually going to go to whatever studio gets in two years. Like maybe they'll stagger it that way. I I, I don't know. It, it could be. Uh, just a help that out maybe um maybe in the end they are all basically co-developing all three games the yeah, that could oh, be they true. don't need help with co with ghost 2 no 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 they, as long as they fix the the multiplayer they don't need help with ghost 2 yeah uh, the storyline was impeccable mm -hmm. so and the cliffhanger I mean, at they, the end they got that they already have their story down yeah that, that's oh. already settled. They're, they're good there. But and the next, as oh. the credits roll on the first one. Well, the next the next game is going to be made by Sledgehammer. So I don't know what their franchise is going to be, but we'll see. So it should we'll, be so, interesting. So we'll see this next year, huh? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Cool. And, and, they, and they've had, like I've said, they've had Call of Duty experience before swooping in and helping uh, Modern Warfare 3 get what? back together after what happened with them. I wonder if so. Peter Gabriel is going to have something to do with it. What's that? Hmm. I wonder if Peter Gabriel is going to have something to do with this game. <laughs> he wants got to. got that joke. He wants to. You got that joke. High five. High five. High five. All right. No, you don't uh, get a high five. You didn't get it yet. I did. I said he wants to be your sledgehammer. He wants to. Okay. Okay. All right. So we're going to move on to our next story, which is about Sonic the Hedgehog. Riz, I think you had this one. Wow. 2013, 14, <laughs> and we're talking about Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, so yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog got a makeover. Uh, now he looks like a very, very bad hipster. Ugh. What Tails did they do to Knuckles? Like mechanic. The what did they do awesome. to Knuckles? Uh, Knuckles. <laughs> He looks like no. he no. looks like he ate a bunch of no. steroids and just no. Forgot you know what? He that. never misses an arm day. Let's just let's just point that out. Let's just point out the fact that this man probably benches more than we can combine right now. <laughs> this is, Do you even Knuckles lift, bro? Just looks, he, he doesn't skip a day at the gym, and he doesn't do any squats. He looks as if Popeye ate spinach and just you know how his like arms and stuff blow up. He just ta stopped halfway through. <laughs> and uh, about the it was in it was in the article that um, I po posted a picture of the Sonic Boom. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> if it, if Donkey Kong had sex with Knuckles, their baby would be this Sonic Boom character. Ugh. Is not Knuckles. I am. I'm just pointing that out there. That is not Knuckles. It, <laughs> Knuckles is Sonic size, first of all. 
I think his name is Knuckles. I think he should be called Knuckles Dragging. <sighs> but yeah, but yeah, going back to the Sonic portion of this, uh, Sonic not only is getting his own is, is new game called Sonic Boom, he is also get going back to c- cartoons with Sonic Boom as well. Um, the game itself, besides, you know, Knuckles being a giant of a man, a master of I don't want to say anything because we all know how Sonic games have fared in the past. Sonic and Shadow and Generations the hell, probably the best to come out since whatever the hell Alpha was or Beta, whatever the heck that was, Beta. Is that what his name was? But yeah, know. this game looks better than those games. But it's still a, a crappy uh, uh, Sonic game. Hmm. It's probably going to be better than Sonic 3D. Anything is better than Sonic 3D. <laughs> Sonic CD was another one. Hey, can I just point something out, guys? Sure. Point it out. Sonic sucks. It, it hasn't gotten better. I'm just throwing it out there. Sonic's it, it, a terrible game. It... It, it has so its moments. Sense. It had its moments. Well, early in the Sega Sega days, it was the best, but now it's just, eh. I don't know. Like they need they need to find their groove. The again. problem is they never figured out the next step for Sonic. Yeah. It was like just they more of the same, more of the same. Like Mario has evolved. Mm-hmm. And Mario got a job. <laughs> <laughs> and they just it's, haven't found they're like he goes fast he does this it's great on 2d how do you translate that and we saw that a lot and a lot of a lot of them aren't chaos. around anymore when they jumped from like 16-bit days 2d to the 3d uh playstation and n64 days you know um this is just i think one of the like casualties the for it. it's like the only thing they've done to improve sonic was put in Chaos Emeralds and a love interest. Yeah. It was a name Amy. Yeah. What were those? What were those little chow things? Yeah. I can't remember. And and don't forget the gigant, the uh, the human woman that was his love interest in the beginning of the the. I forget if it was Sonic Adventure or the one after that, but. It, 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 the 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 voiced Sonic episode, the, the voiced Sonic games failed. He did like uh, chili dogs, though. <laughs> what was that? He did, he did like, like chili, chili dogs. dogs, though. That's one positive from the cartoon. <laughs> but I'm All excited right. for that. The um, the cartoon and kind of excited for the game. Not yeah, really. it looks decent. Um, but it's for the Wii U yeah. as well. So just the character you know, designs are a little wonky, but whatever. We can't judge until we see it. So um, that'll bring us to our final round question: um, What franchises? Would, what franchise would you guys like to see brought back as a game and a cartoon? <laughs> Who wants to start? Uh, I'll go first. Okay, go for it, Chachi. Um, first off, before anyone says Shenmue. Shut it. Shut up. Really? Shut it. No. Who would say no. Shenmue? Nobody. No, no forklift like, cartoons. Yeah, I would like, love forklift uh, cartoons, though. What? One twenty-fourth of the internet would say Shenmue. Just shut up. No one gives a shit. Sucks. But uh, as far as as far as uh, a series, Earthbound. Oh, that would be a good one. You could do a cartoon on Earthbound. Mm-hmm. And you could bring the game back. They, they did bring the game back, but yeah, it was on Wii U. <laughs> yeah, make it happen on uh, something other than Wii U. 3DS would be nice. Yeah, 3DS would be nice. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it, just make it happen. All right, uh, Riz, do you have one? Uh, I want to say Mass Effect. 
I, I, not only do I want to see the game back, but I think they could do wonders with a cartoon rather than them putting out a full-fledged movie about it. Didn't they make? Didn't they make an? Anime? They had. They had series. Like a, they had like one or two episodes mm. on YouTube about uh, Vega. But I'm talking about a full-fledged series of Mass Effect. They can they can go, go towards kids with all you know jokes and crap, or they can lean it towards the adults who are probably going to watch it more because mm. they are the they they are more of the because it, this is more of a comic book type situation, mm. and cartoons by you know would work a lot better in those situations. I got another one. Okay. Portal. Oh, yeah, that would be good. Would it? Make, make just... another Portal game. <laughs> would it? Well, you could... Yeah, you just could do... The two there's so much there that you could cover. Because mm. you can cover the Black Mesa side of things. You can cover the Aperture side of things. And in Portal 2, they gave you more than enough time frame where you could go back and have Cave Johnson be a main character for a while. True. Mm. And Caroline. Yeah, Heck, so I mean, there's have... so much you could do with that series, and that would just make the internet jizz in would its it, pants. Wouldn't it be amazing if they actually got the guy that did the voice for it to play him? That w- it, oh, yeah, Steven Merchant? It's the only He's way that would work. Right yeah. Now. Yeah. Because if someone else tried to do Cave Johnson, I would just be pissed off and I would throw something through my TV. Oh, whoa, whoa. Well, Steven same... Merchant's going to be on a show on HBO. HBO. That's the same thing that. Uh, the fans of Mass Effect had when they saw that the Joker wasn't going to be played by Seth, Seth Green. Yeah. yeah. And it was all Ooh. a shitstorm. We had it on Insert Point to Begin. Everybody commented on why this isn't happening. You need those voices to connect with the character. And they model the characters after the actual person, too, Ooh. you know? So, uh, Sorg, do you have one? Um, I was thinking Metroid. That's a good one. Because, I mean, Metroid really hasn't had a comic, or I'm sorry, a, a cartoon really presence. Uh, I think, it, if I'm mistaken, did they, they have a presence in uh, Captain N, I feel like. Like, maybe an episode yeah. later on. I mean, I, well, obviously the bad guys were all Ooh, over Mother it. Mother Brain, yeah. Uh, but, but I think, like, the later one, they did finally do Samus. Um, and, and it does need, it isn't, it is due for a reboot. I know they've done a couple things in the last few years that didn't pan out too well. The Prime series was a really good reboot for them. Really enjoyed it. At least the first one. I didn't get to the, the second or third, but I never really beat the first one. Um, so, yeah, I mean, cause, I mean, that's a classic. So. How, how about another Zelda cartoon? Excuse yeah, me. Yeah, one where Link isn't a douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One where, one where Link just goes, hat, hat. <laughs> that's it that's all well, he says hey hey, hey here's a question he would you be mad if they did a cartoon about zelda based on wind waker no yes or at least that's, yes. at least that's i style. would yeah. i would destroy nintendo with all of my fury i yeah, think the animation is really cool and i think it would I, be, I think it would work i think it's tailor made it's definitely tailor made for yeah. it yeah i'm it surprised they haven't cartoon, done it yet hopefully this i nice would thing. i would destroy nintendo with the fury of a thousand suns and the help of 15 gods <laughs> and then insert coin to begin dot com would become the zelda wind waker cartoon <laughs> hate blog <laughs> Like, right. I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't I got go one. so far to uh, Chachi's point of view, but I would not like Wind Waker. I would watch it. I give it a chance. I guess. Uh, I, I, would. I have no I hate. Would. I have no. I have no, uh, I have no hate in my heart for Wind Waker. It was some of the. It. it was some of the best times of me playing video games. But I had missed Ocarina and all that stuff, mind you. So, mm. but but still, I, like that was some of my favorite times playing through a game. Was was Wind Waker. Um, mine would be Mega Man Legends. I think that would be a cool cartoon slot, and they need okay. to bring the game back. Okay. Um, I uh, bring Tron Bone in and just. I could see them it. like I would love to see them do an RPG with that now, like mm-hmm. maybe not Legends specifically you know style. Yeah, even even just like Mega Man. Would be. Yeah. Was well, Do something. Do one. something with Mega Man Capcom. That's what we're trying to say. I don't. And I know this is a newer game, but what about an Uncharted? Cartoon. Yeah, there's rumors of a, an uncharted, uncharted movie. That would be awesome. Yeah, I, 
I think Nathan Fillion should play Nathan Drake. Yeah. That would be amazing, yeah. but that's not a cartoon. So. One thousand sons. <laughs> All right. Sorry, with, that being said, with that being said, we're going to uh, end it here this week. Uh, you can follow us on at insert TV uh, on, the, on the Twitters. Uh, you can go to our website. New articles going up daily on insertcointobegin.com. Uh, Chachi, you have Chachi Plays coming up. We want to say a yeah, little bit uh, about it. Yep, uh, the donate button's not up yet, but you can get all the details at chachiplays.com. All right. The gods of Olympus will rain down hellfires upon them. <laughs> What's the date? Right. When is it? When is it? May 9th and 10th, Toonsium, downtown Pittsburgh. Awesome. Downtown. Awesome. All right, uh, that'll do it for us. Uh, you can join us live at live.sorgatronmedia.com every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock, and that'll do it for us, so game over. Hellfire!